So we have a jam-packed, very exciting video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. The very next video coming in about 45 minutes is going to be on the entire 24 to 50K portfolio. We're going to try and get there in about three to six months, hopefully in the next 90 days. So we're talking about Fed rate cuts are imminent and which cryptocurrencies are going to benefit. It's really important to know there's like 15,000 of them. Let's figure out which ones you should be buying. Let's talk about the trending stocks in SoFi. Well, I think it's still a great deal and what price I think you should buy right now, but let's talk about what price you should be selling at. Let's talk about Ripple and a couple of other cryptocurrencies. Which cryptos are the banks using? Because if they're using them, those are the cryptos that are going to succeed. We're going to talk about Coins of Wall Street, my other channel. If you want to subscribe to that channel, you're all about cryptocurrencies. I really do appreciate all of you that have subscribed. I can't believe we have 280 subscribers. When I first started my first YouTube channel, it took me forever to get to 10, and I was so proud. I was like, oh, my God, I hit double digits. And now that, you know, we're in triple digits, it's amazing. And I don't have any famous people. I don't want anybody to push my content out. So every subscriber does count, and I do appreciate all of you. And, again, smash the like button on this video as well. It's much appreciated. Again, this is my Patreon for the entire community for Invest with Allen. If you want to join it, we have an above four more spots available. And then we are closed up for the year. And then Coins of Wall Street as well, which is just a crypto only channel where we're going to try and to really go as fast as we can with our investments. Again, we're going to talk about Bitcoin going right back to $68,000 and then breaking through that $73,000 and $74,000 barrier. And why I think Solana hitting $1,000 is actually very, very low. I am more in the two to $3,000 range. And that's because... Most banks are going to most likely go with Solana. And then again, we'll talk about this rally that I believe will start on the 18th, which is in a day and a half, and then go all the way through October 2nd. So again, and then we'll talk about why once we make a big chunk of money in cryptocurrencies, some of that should be shifted to Google because anywhere in the 150s range is a deal to me. So let's get started. Again, if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and smash the like button. And don't forget to sign up for our Patreon. There's only about four or five spots available. And then you can become a part investor into the crypto exchange. You can join us on our journey to create. We're working on a stock analyzer and a crypto analyzer tool. And anybody that's part of it, and you'll also be a part owner and you'll be making money as well. So it's pretty awesome. Again, there will be a live stream coming out very shortly on that. And you can ask me questions directly. Also, those of you that are my Patreon, I will be giving out a phone number as well so you can call me 24 hours a day because I know sometimes on Discord, I don't reply right away because there's multiple people calling me, so I will be giving out my phone number as well. Again, so with Fed rate, Fed rate cuts imminent, here's which crypto are going to skyrocket upwards. So obviously, Ethereum has been lagging, and that's one that's really, really going to go up. And then Bitcoin, especially being endorsed by the former President Trump, that's another one that's going to really, really skyrocket. But what's really really going to move up is let's talk about it ripple avalanche and solana again ripple was created as a high profile payment processor specifically to facilitate international currency transfers by banks by credit unions fintechs and other financial institutions the entire world basically accordingly its fees for such transfers are relatively low by crypto standards and transactions are completed in just a few seconds so it has a lot going for it. And again, this is that competition right now. And this is a huge, huge competition. It's going to be happening mostly between Ripple, Avalanche, and Solana. Ethereum could get on it, but the fees are so, so high. I'm going to say not right now. It's kind of like all those Tesla people um, that say, well, Tesla is not a car company. It's a company that has a whole bunch of other divisions within it. Well, if you get 91% of all of your revenue from selling cars, you are a car company. I do believe robo-taxi and everything else is eventually going to come into play. And it's going to be like a mutual fund of six, seven different companies within one. But right now, in the last 12 years of its existence, it's a car company. It's been a car company. So that's important to know. So Ripple, the crypto for the financial community. One of the really useful applications of cryptocurrency comes in the form of money transfers between nations. This is very, very important. And you, you do, I, I actually don't think most people realize this, but if you send like $700 with Western Union to a family member, you're going to pay about $150. It's, it's, it's downright criminal. Yes, and if you do it during times like, you know, Christmas time or holiday times where there's a lot of transfers happening, they may charge you like $200 for a $700 transfer. 
It's insane. So there is absolutely a use case for cryptocurrencies to exist. I mean, this is one of a million use cases, but this is a very important one when it comes to Ripple, Avalanche, and Solana. So unsurprisingly, an enterprise, you know, uh, an enterprising cryptocurrency has targeted this niche. Ripple was created as a high-profile payment processor, specifically to, you know, basically help everybody share their money and conduct business via Ripple. Again, so this is really also the bridge between cryptocurrencies. So what that means is you can actually use Ripple to purchase goods that are maybe in another cryptocurrency. So maybe you have Dogecoin, this person has Bitcoin, that one has Ethereum, and it can, you can utilize Ripple as a way to just kind of nip that all on the bud. And you know that really doesn't work right now. If you show up with U.S. dollars to some parts of the world, they're going to tell you, yeah, go home. Like right now, you can't use yen and walk into a Walmart at your local grocery store and try to purchase goods. They'll just boot you out. So this is why Ripple is very, very important. And again, I do believe Avalanche, that's not being tested by, this is pretty incredible, it's being tested by 13 major, major institutions. And Solana's catching up 11 major institutions, including Bank of America and, and J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. So that's very, very important. And why you should know that that's happening is because where the billions and trillions of dollars flow is where the stocks and cryptocurrencies are going to rise. Again, if you want to just go to YouTube, you can type in Coins of Wall Street and sign up for our channel. I uh, appreciate everybody. Again, there'll be more content coming out later today on that channel as well. Um, top seven, or actually it's top nine cryptos there are going to be breakout cryptos. That's a video on that coming out as well. Again, this is my Invest with Alan community. If you want to join this Patreon or the one for Coins of Wall Street, uh, I believe we only have like three more spots available and then we're done with Coins of Wall Street. Uh, now, cryptocurrency is down a little bit. I did sell some of my Ethereum from my 24K portfolio and I bought all of that money. I used it to buy Bitcoin. And I think once we get to the 18th, you're going to see Donald Trump push Bitcoin more. He's very much into it. And I think we're going to see a much higher upside. Also, if we sell off, you usually see Ethereum sell off more than Bitcoin. As you can see right here, it's about a half a percent difference, which kind of tells me that I'm now protecting a little bit of the downside. And also we may have a bigger upside in Bitcoin. This is just temporarily over the next week or so. After that, I'll be rebuying back more and more Ethereum. Uh, Solana is doing pretty well in the 130s. Uh, you know, if we take a look at the last seven days, the biggest winners are a couple of these I've never heard of. Tinycoin's actually holding up pretty well over the last seven days. Biggest losers are, funnily, not coin. And Gala is also down to, oh my goodness, I cannot believe Gala is down to essentially nothing. Ah, man. You know, there was lots of high hopes for Gala and uh, Floki is down to, it just keeps going down and down. Uh, what's, what's another one here? So Bonk. Bank is losing just every week a 6 to 10% sell-off. Maybe it will recover. Now, again, will Solana hit $1,000? I think we're more in the $2,000 to $3,000 range. It's, that's because the only thing banks care about, that's not you. I promise you that. They don't care about you at all. They care about money. And the second thing is, if you realize it's not really what you make, sure, it does help. It's what you see. Because you can make a million dollars, but then burn $1.2 million and be like $200,000 in credit card debt. There's people like that. So it's not what you make, it's what you save. So it's very important for banks to save as much money as possible when it comes to anything, and especially transactions. So if they, if they can utilize Solana and save all those fees on transactions, they will. This is why there's that massive push and why you saw Solana skyrocket from $8 all the way to $130 right now. Now again, the rally is going to probably start on the 18th. It's a very, very big day. We're going to get about a half a percent rate cut and on top of that, it's the day of uh, um, Donald Trump's trial or, 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 or the sentencing. So it's, it's a huge day. I mean, Wednesday is going to be a massive, massive day. And I think once all that fear is gone, I don't think anything's going to happen with the trial. And I think we're absolutely like 100% going to get a half a percent rate cut. Markets are just going to continue to rally and rally and rally until they lose steam somewhere around October 2nd. So that's, that's you know, what... Tom Lee is saying that's why, and I agree with him. I'm saying that as well because I believe he's absolutely right because I've just taken a look at what's happened the last time we had like four or five rate cuts and how long those rallies lasted, and it was about 11 to 13 days. So I think he's right on the money there. 
Now, again, I think the only really cheap, in my opinion, there's very few cheap stocks right now. I mean, I think I'm shifting more to crypto, but one is going to be Google here. And then obviously I'm going to, and I'm going to show you why, because I really, really have made some successful moves in my life off of something extremely simple. And I want to show you guys that. That is the price to earnings ratio. Okay, the price of the stock to exactly what they make. And that's really, really important because you don't want to pay $200,000 for a $20,000 Honda Civic, right? So it might be a great card. It might last you 10, 15 years, but it's a definitely, definitely not a good decision. So you don't want to overpay for anything, even if it's a great, great investment. So because, you know, 10 years later, you might just finally end up breaking even. So with that in mind, the price to earnings ratio of 22 is incredibly cheap in my for for alphabet google so based on the fundamental and technical analysis google should be at about 194 dollars right now now when i take a look at qualcomm this is another one that has a price to earnings ratio about 21 which is they're cheap and i want to show you something else here because you know i was telling everybody you know w when we saw the price to earnings ratio dip to it was at 101 dollars for nvidia dip to 49 at 101, I thought that was a screaming buy. So if we see a little bit of a sell-off continue, because we're now down about 2% on the day, and we reach back 101, you should have a nice, sizable position in NVIDIA. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to sign up on both of those Patreons and subscribe to both channels. Also, we're going to have a separate channel that just talks about stocks only. It focuses only on stocks. Coins of Wall Street will only focus on cryptocurrencies, and I will leave Invest with Alan as a as a channel that just reports all news. So whether it's the car market, the real estate market, the cryptocurrencies, and the stock market, that we kind of understand where really the community is going, where the economy is going most of all. Again, thank you for watching and take care.